Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have yet another haul video for you. Um, I've just been going crazy with wax. So this is a Dessa's order. Here is her um, business card, which is a new business card. Um, yeah, it has her website down there at the bottom. It'll focus, focus, there we go. And she, in case any of you have not tried Dessa's, I'm sure most everybody has, but she's definitely one of my top vendors and someone I will keep ordering from. Um, her wax is just amazing. It throws really well. She has really good blends. Um, this is a little thank you card she includes with your order as well. And then she also includes a little handwritten note, which is cute. Thank you, Jenny. Enjoy, Dessa. <clears throat> and so this is, she has like a full-time job. And so she does this kind of secondary to, this is the little sample bag where the samples came in. She does this secondary to her full-time job. Um, so she must be a busy woman. And her ordering style is pre-orders. So she'll open and you can do custom pre-orders, which means you can get any scent in any shape. And then she has a couple options for blending, um, which I have both of those shapes in here for blending. And she has lots of different fun shapes and she changes them up. So she has ones around fall that she gets like pumpkins and stuff. And then for Christmas, she has Christmas tree shapes and other Christmassy shapes. And then you get into summer. She introduced, I think, three new shapes for this last opening, which I got some of each. Um, and then she always is coming out with new scent blends, I feel like, too, before each opening. So some of the scents I have in this order are new blends, which I will share. I'll let you know which ones are the new ones. Um, so overall, yeah, she's just a lot of fun to order from. She probably only opens once every, like, two to three months for pre-orders, just because it does take a little bit of time. Um, so I think her next opening is probably going to be early April, maybe. But join her Facebook group. If you haven't tried her, definitely recommend it. And um, as long as you're comfortable with the wait time with pre-orders, it's not crazy turnaround time, but there's a little bit of wait time. All right, so I'll go ahead and share with you what I got. So one of her cute little shapes is these macarons, and this is in gingerbread sweet cakes. And I, so one thing about Dessa's, I love her wax, but her scents that have cinnamon, a lot of them tend to be the really spicy cinnamon or like the craft store cinnamon or red hot cinnamon. So I tend to shy away from a lot of her scents that have cinnamon, including like gingerbread scents, because sometimes they're too, <clears throat> too overpowering for me. And although those scents can be good and some people really love them, I just tend to shy away from them. So this gingerbread sweet cakes is not something I would normally try, but it is so good. It's definitely gingerbready. But that sweet cakes in there really gives it a nice, yummy sweetness. You are going to see I have a good amount of holiday scents. Because <laughs> when I placed this order, it was like January. And so I think I was still very much in the bakery holiday mood. Um, I don't know how many of these I will melt now, you know, as we're getting into spring. But, but that's okay because they're great and I might melt them here and there. So this one is a mystery. It just says some of this and some of that. So you don't know the scent. And it looks like little chunks. Um, but this one is so good. It's always unfortunate when you get a mystery and you don't know what it is. I There's definitely some berries in here. Like, I feel like blueberry and maybe some strawberry. And maybe like a bakery note. Ah, it smells so good. Yeah, definitely berry. It's really good. So... Too bad I don't know what it is. This one's super cute. Look at Cherry Limeade. And it's one of her, I think, snap bars. And it has the cute little, like, um, speckles of colors on the front. So I have Cherry Limeade. I've um, purchased it. So I have it in my stash. Um, it's really good. Nice Cherry Limeade. A little bit of effervescence. Mm, really, really, really good. And it's a strong thrower. This is just sugar cookies and another little macaron. Her sugar cookie scent's really good. On cold, um, I don't tend to like it on cold, but when I warm it, I really love it. Because it tends to, on cold, 
I kind of have a little bit of an artificial note, but when you warm it up, it just warms up so nicely. Yeah, so that's really good. I do love her sugar cookie, more of like for blends for me versus just on its own. And then this is Ho 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 Down. I'm not sure what the scent notes are for this one. There's definitely like some apple, some cinnamon, maybe like some hay. It's kind of like an outdoorsy apple cinnamon scent. It's pretty, um, but definitely more cinnamon. There's some cinnamon in there. Okay, so those are my samples. Um, and I got quite a bit of wax, so. And what I typically do is if I'm unsure of a scent or a scent, a scent is new to me, I always get her scent shots. And then if I like it in her next opening, I will order a larger um, format of it. So I do have quite a bit of scent shots. So this is Mad as a Hatter, which is one of her Main Street Memories collection scents. And this is Black Chai Tea, Orange Zest, Orange and Almond Crumpets. Um, again, on my quest to find the perfect chai tea. And this is good, but I get more of the um, black tea note and the, um, the or, like it's like a tea and cakes type scent. And it's good and I'll melt it but not exactly what I was looking for, but it smells nice, you know. Let's see. Next is Huckleberry Lane. Oh, and she, she has the scent descriptions on her labels now, which is fantastic, so love that. But um, Huckleberry Lane, which is Nana's Homemade Fresh Huckleberry Preserves. This scent, because I've, of course, smelled everything. It smells so good. It more, I think it's more like grapey, like sweet grape. Um... I don't know that I've ever smelled like a real huckleberry before, so that kind of smells like a sweet grape to me. Um, this is Holly Jolly Jubilee, which is Sweet Candy Canes, Christmas Tree, and Vanilla Bean Noel. This scent is phenomenal. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, there's almost, I don't know why, but I almost feel like I get like a little bit of a chocolate note in it, but there's no chocolate. But you get that, the sweet candy cane, that Christmas tree's in there. And the Vanilla Bean Noel, it's not super distinct, but I'm smelling it. I don't know why I feel like I get like a, just a hint of a chocolate note in there. Maybe it's like a bakery note from the Vanilla Bean Noel, that cookie note. I'm not sure, but it's a really good scent though. So it's not a bad chocolate in any way. This is Cranberry Sauce, which is tart cranberries and a hint of spice. And because I'm a little hit and miss on her cranberry, I wasn't sure. This is definitely... A tart spicy cranberry scent it's good but it definitely has some of that like cinnamon spice to it but it is very pretty and that will be great for the holidays but probably not anything I'll melt before then beach house which is salty sea air and hints of coconut and you definitely get the salty sea air in this that's the most dominant note I get a little bit of coconut but not a lot so it's okay, but that's, um, this is definitely, you know, that salty sea air where, I don't know why, in my mind, it, it kind of has a plasticky note to it. Um, usually you don't get that plastic when you melt it, but salty sea air, it's kind of hit or miss for me. I like it, but I don't like it too much. Fresh raspberry sauce, authentic tart raspberries, no floral notes. So I wanted to definitely try this. This is pretty, very, very tart raspberry. Yeah, there's like not much sweetness. Um, it's good. I think this will be really good blended with something sweet too. If you can, sweeten it up. This is Holiday Nest Type, which is pomegranate, orange, pine, amber, cinnamon, and cloves. Um, I've never had this from Nest. This is gorgeous though. It's definitely a holiday scent. You definitely get a little bit of that pine. And then the like you know, the fruity, like the pomegranate and orange, but it's, it's very warm and comforting and there's cinnamon and cloves in it, but that's not, it's not overpowering spicy cinnamon and cloves. So that's a beautiful scent. Blackberry buckle, which is buttery cake batter and sweet blackberries. Mm, this, you definitely get that like buttery cake batter for sure. Um, that's the top note than the blackberry one. I'm not getting any floral note on the blackberry. 
but the blackberry is kind of light in here. I'm looking forward to melting this and kind of seeing what I think of her blackberry scent if it's not floral. Here's another one of the Main Street Memories Be Our Royal Guest, which is the gray stuff. Red velvet, berry puree, mousse, sugar cookies. This is good. You definitely get, so red velvet cake is a chocolate cake with red dye, right? Um, so you get that chocolatey note. I feel like it's a wild berry mousse maybe in here. It's good, but it's not, it's not as heavy as a normal wild berry mousse, so... I get a little bit of like a light, like a, a fresh berry note in here. It's really good. And her sugar cookie. Fairies in the Snow, which is Snow Fairy Lush type. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this scent. I've had this from other vendors. I'm not sure what I was thinking when I ordered this one. It's okay, but not really my scent preference. Apple Toffee Shortbread, which is Granny Smith Apples, Shortbread Crust, Butter Toffee, Pecans, and Vanilla Ice Cream. Mm, this is amazing. This smells like a rich, decadent dessert that you just want to eat. You get some of the apple, but it's not strong apple scent. It's definitely more like a bakery, rich, decadent kind of bakery scent. That is really good. New Orleans beignets, um, deep fried pastry with a pillowy center loaded with powdered sugar. Yum. Yeah, this smells really good. Definitely like a fried pastry. A little, there's a little bit of a spice in it, a little bit of a bakery spice and sweet, a little bit of creaminess. It's good. That's very good. Kind of like, almost like just a heavy funnel cake or something, but that's very good. Fireflies, which is cedarwood, damp air, campfire smoke, and roasting marshmallows. You definitely get kind of that outdoor air and fireside scent. I'm not really smelling much of the marshmallow. Get it? That little bit of woodsy notes. It does remind you of kind of being outdoors with a campfire. Um, yeah, I'm not... I always buy campfire type scents because I think oh, I'm gonna love them and then they're really hit and miss for me <laughs> but that one's pretty good I'll, I'll for sure melt it um tiki 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 drinky which is another of her main street collection this is mandarin orange blood orange grapefruit apricot and fizz she has really good fizzy scents mm, this is fantastic this reminds me of a yummy drink fruity summer fizzy cocktail I'm ready. This makes me ready for summer and vacation. I need a tropical beach vacation with a fruity cocktail that tastes like that smells. It smells really good. Donut bee jelly, which is fried donut, strawberry jam puree, and powdered sugar. Yeah, this is like um strawberry jam that you might get from a lot of other vendors. That's that like tart, sweet strawberry. And you get the 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 bakery from the donut. But definitely strawberry is the dominant scent. It's really good. That's good. I like that scent. <clears throat> Let's see. This is Harvest Marmalade Bread, which is apricot, orange, cranberry chutney on warm, crusty bread. Mmm, this is <laughs> really good. It definitely, you get that warm, crusty bread note with the marmalade. I don't really get apricot. I get, it's kind of more an orange cranberry marmalade and orange, I think more. Well, no, a good mix of the orange and cranberry. It's really good. Very yummy. <clears throat> Fresh bread and, and jam, which is crusty bread and strawberry jam. I was definitely in a bakery mood, you can tell. Oh, this is good. Same strawberry jam as the donut bee jelly. And this definitely has more of just a bread note to it. It's not fried, like the fried donut in this one. That is really good. I'm gonna get dye on my nose because I keep touching it to my nose. Mmm, so good. So, so, so good. That I think I'm gonna love and have to get in bigger quantities. 
a spoonful of sugar, which is ice cream, lemon sugar cookie, waffle cone, and crushed lemon candies. Yeah, this is Sweet Lemon Bakery. This is really good. The lemon in this is kind of a tart bakery lemon. It's not cleaner lemon, which is good. It's very much like a sweetened up kind of lemon curd, but it's not as strong as lemon curd. It's good. And then I think my last scent shot here is Neverland Flight, which is pink and blue cotton candy, crushed berries, lime, and sugar crystals. Mm, this is good. It doesn't say there's a fizzy note in here, but you kind of feel like you get a fizziness. Maybe it's just the lime. It's basically just like a lime, a sweet lemon lime, almost fizzy scent. It's really good. That's really, really good. It kind of reminds me of a lemon lime fizz, but it's really good. Um, and sweetened up. Okay, I'm going to start with the shapes that are new. Um, these bags look a little smudgy because, again, I had some family smelling them with me. But these are her coffee cups. You get four coffee cups um, in this bag. And I weighed them. I think they're just shy of maybe five ounces. Um, so around there. And they're, let me see how much, how much they are. $6.25. So that's not too bad. So I think they were all maybe just a little under five ounces or about five ounces. But I absolutely will cut each one of these in half. So you'll get eight melts out of this. Because um, her wax is pretty strong. You don't need that much. This is in Boardwalk Marshmallows, which is the Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds type. I wanted to try hers out. Um, and this, I think I placed this order before I maybe tried this scent from anybody. It's so beautiful. It's sweet. It's sweet and marshmallowy. I feel like hers compared to like L3's, I think L3's has a little bit more of the floral note to it. The floral body care note. I feel like Dessa's is sweeter and more marshmallowy. And it's beautiful on its own. Beautiful. Um, and I definitely look forward to blending it with stuff too at some point. One of the other um, new shapes is these like pumpkin skeleton heads. I don't remember what she called them, but they're super cute. This is Evil Queen Elixir, which is green apple pear, sour green apple candy, and fizzy effervescence. Um, and these, again, I think are about five ounces, maybe just a little bit shy of that. And I think it's the same price, $6.25. So, oh, this smells amazing. It's definitely like an apple. Look at how cute. Aren't those adorable? It's definitely apple fizzy. Sweet candy apple fizzy. Mm, this is really good. And these I think I'll likely melt in half too because, or cut in half, melt in half, cut in half. Because I think they're too big to just throw in a warmer like that because they're each going to be over an ounce, so, and her stuff is pretty strong. That's the only one I got in this shape. Um, I got more coffee cups here. This is Nana's Bakehouse, which is zucchini bread, oatmeal cookies, bear claws, and gooey marshmallow. This one is so amazing. Oh my gosh, this smells like rich, decadent oatmeal cookies. I definitely get the oatmeal cookie. Um, and like marshmallow and bear claws. I'm not really getting the zucchini bread. I feel like I'm getting more of the oatmeal cookie, bear claw, and marshmallow. It's, it's like ooey gooey, delicious bakery and not, it doesn't come off as a fall bakery though. So I will for sure melt that like now and through the summer. Then I got these, look how pretty the purple cups, autumn bliss bar, which is cookie batter, cranberries, pears, and white chocolate drizzle. Super cute. Her pear is really good too. Um, yeah, this is good. It's like bakery goodness with like the tart cranberries and that like tart sweet pear. That is really good. Um, I'm trying to think if I get the white chocolate drizzle. It literally smells like dried fruit. Like if you ever bite into um, like a scone or something that has like chunks of like dried cranberries or fruit in it. You get that note in this. It smells so good. 
yeah really really good good bakery blend but doesn't seem overly fallish so i for sure will melt that before fall this is one i already had a scent shot in and i think i made a mistake as far as i don't think i intended to get the scent shot i think i meant to get the bigger bag and i don't know what i was doing um so this is holly jolly jubilee again which is the sweet candy canes christmas tree vanilla bean noel which i love it smells amazing okay one of her other new scents is these ice cream ice cream cones and scoops which are super cute let me take them out they're super cute and this is in so this mom this guy's big like i for sure will at least get three i'll probably cut this in threes or fours. Oh my gosh this smells so good this is her ice circus cookies and then here's the other one look how cute yeah i love it oh this smells so good her ice circus cookies is hang on this is animal shaped sugar cookies covered in pink and white icing and candy sprinkles yeah so good there tends to be like a little bit of a lemony note i feel like in some of them it doesn't smell like lemon but there is that like kind of tartness to it it's so good though i don't know this is good it's good on its own and i think it'll be and it's good in blends so and here's the other one that I got in the same shapes. This is cranberry and orange, which is tart cranberries and zesty mandarin oranges. And I think these come out to about five ounces as well. Oh, this one's so good. It's just a bright, fresh, sweet cranberry. So it's definitely not one that, um, it's not definitely like a fall scent. You can definitely melt this in, in summer. That's beautiful. Okay. So then some of the shapes I really love are her macarons. You can definitely cut these in half and get a decent throw. Um, but sometimes when I'm just being lazy, I just throw a whole thing in. This is La Patisserie. I got it, I think, either in a sample in one of my previous orders, in my last order, and I loved it um, when I melted it. So I had to get some more. This is pastry dough, caramelized sugar, vanilla, buttercream, and cinnamon sugar. This is not heavy on the cinnamon at all. Um, it's just... I mean, it's there. There's a sweet cinnamon there, but it's really just a very rich, decadent bakery scent. So good. Definitely good on its own and definitely be good in blends. Um, so, I love that. Then I got Believe, which is cinnamon rolls, vanilla frosting, sugar cookies, and Fraser fur. Again, more Christmas tree scents. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my gosh, so good. You definitely get the Fraser fur, but then you get that rich vanilla frosting, sugar cookie, a little bit of the cinnamon from the cinnamon rolls. It's like, like you're eating frosted cinnamon rolls next to a Christmas tree. It's so good. I had to get more of her strawberry pound cake. Um, I think I have one macaron left from my last order. I think this is one I'm probably going to buy from every opening she has. It's so good. I feel like her strawberry pound cake I get more is one of the ones um, I've only tried it from maybe a few vendors now I feel like she has the most prominent strawberry note in her strawberry pound cake and she actually says it's a house blend so she made this so it's vanilla pound cake sugar coated strawberries and whipped cream I didn't realize that until right now when I was reading it that's why I get more strawberry because she blends it so I really like that that's beautiful Mermaid Tails, which is berries, mango, guava, pineapple, passion fruit, and sherbet. This is beautiful, fruity goodness. You definitely get the pineapple and the berries and the passion fruit. It's all in there, just like a nice mix. But the pineapple is definitely in there, but it's a good pineapple. Very authentic, juicy pineapple. That is really good. The last of the macarons, this is sweet macerated strawberries. Again, it's her just sweet strawberry scent. This is the same as Candles from the Keeping Room, Vintage Chic Scents, um, Fresh Big Strawberry from L3. Like, basically most vendors have this strawberry now. Some people say it smells like chapstick strawberry, but I love it. It's my favorite strawberry by far, and in particular in blends. But I also enjoy melting it on, melting it on its own, so I always like to get it. 
just as a single scent. And then for blending, you can do these little blender bars, which you can do two cents. And I think these are like seven dollars and change. Um, yeah, seven twenty-five. And this is pretty hefty. I didn't weigh it. I normally do, but it's probably about six ounces. Um, in Snow White's app, sorry, Snow's Poison Apple and La Patisserie. So it's that La Patisserie is that bakery scent. Yeah. So this is like sweet apple bakery without the spice maybe a little bit of spice it smells like an apple pie it smells really really good um and then i got two of her her big custom loaves these guys are massive um i weighed both of them both of them were about a pound one was like 17 ounces and one was like just under 16 for $17.75 and you can blend up to three cents so that's a really good deal so this first one I got sweet macerated strawberries iced circus cookies and Christmas tree um, and the strawberry is the overpour because um, I definitely wanted that to be the dominant note and so the chunks are the iced circus cookies and Christmas tree I love this you definitely get the Christmas tree in here but you get that sweet strawberry I don't really smell the ice circus cookies. I think that's just going to make it sweet. But this is really good. I don't want to take it out, but see, that's what it looks like. Bags get a little messy. Oh, this is gorgeous. And because the Christmas tree is not a really dominant note in this, this will be something I for sure melt throughout the year. So, and then the very last one, um, this guy's heavy. I think this is like the 17, it's over 17 ounces. This is Cotton Candy Confection, which that's the overpour. And then the chunks are in Sweater Weather Season and Cranberry Sauce. Let's see what that looks like. It's very pretty. This, oh my gosh, so good. It's, I think I, this was either inspired by somebody or I saw someone post like something similar. Um, sweater weather and cranberry. I can't remember. I saw it somewhere. But I definitely did not just make it up on my own. But I don't remember. I might have been the one that added the, added the cotton candy confection. I can't remember to make it sweet. But you get her sweater weather is good. It has that nice minty note to it. It reminds me a lot of the Bath and Body Works. I don't really pick up the cranberry sauce right now. So we'll see when I melt it, but then that sweetness from the cotton candy confection, oh, it just smells like a really sweet sweater, sweater weather. So it is really good. I'm really excited to have this big guy. Um, so that is my Dessa's haul, everybody. Really excited to start melting this stuff. Her stuff, you don't have to let it cure. It's ready to go. Um, I mean, she does pour everything and then ships everything out. So she doesn't pour, ship, pour, ship, pour, ship. She, um pours it all and then ships it all and so definitely a lot of these scents have been sitting around for a little while so by the time you get them not a little while, not long but you know at a minimum a couple weeks or a few weeks um so this stuff is ready to go once you get it you can start melting i just always like to wait to do my videos before i start melting so hope you guys enjoyed um if you do order from dessa's kind of let me know what your favorite scents are and if you think you're going to open with her next opening and she is doing a mystery box sale on March 20th, I believe. So for more details on that, you can check her out in her Facebook group page. Um, I haven't gotten a mystery box from her and I won't because I know there are some scents that I just don't care for from her. Like I mentioned the spicy cinnamon scents. And then I also am not a fan of her lavender. Um, so I, I tend to, I like to be able to pick what scents I want. So I'm probably not going to do mystery box from her. But if you're not picky with scents and you want to try some things out, that might be a good option for you. So anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.